So welcome back to the Agri Tutorials. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick rundown on this tutorial for this software called Dingboard. Now, this is a pretty hilarious tool that has pretty much taken over the AI Twitter sphere in terms of the meme area. Now, the reason this tool is so popular is because the memes it has come with have been pretty, pretty amazing. And the reason people use this on a day-to-day -day basis is because it's very easy to use, it's no fuss, and you don't even need to sign in. So when you load up Dingboard, you're going to be firstly presented with this screen right here. Now, unless you actually do want a lot of this stuff, you can just go ahead and delete this, and then you can go ahead and delete this. But I'm not going to delete it because I want to show you guys exactly how we can use that and what's that's going to be useful. So essentially, what we have here is we have this and usually if you are making a meme, you usually do leave this in the meme because it's what people use to let them know that it's a kind of dingboard meme. So for example, if you wanted to make a certain meme, you just drag this over the top and then you'd save it. So essentially what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click this image. Now with this image, you're going to see that there are a variety of different tools. Now currently these three right here, you need to sign in and you need to have a membership in order to have those. But I did actually sign in. I did actually have a membership. So I'm going to show you guys how to use those. So essentially you can see right here, the delete button is delete. You also can have just delete on your button. You don't need to actually click that button. You can download the items right here. So if you click download, you can see that the image here just gets completely downloaded. So that's what you want to do if you just want to download a specific image from Dingboard. Now you can also see here that you can move this item to the back. So for example, if we have this and you want to click move it to the back, it moves it behind the initial image right here. And if you want to move this behind, you can see that's what that does. Now, of course, you can erase selected items. So you can click here and then it's going to use an eraser and then you're going to erase part of the image. And that's how that works. So you can pretty much do that if you want. Just click Control Z to undo that. So Control Z on your keyboard. Not sure what it is on Mac, but whatever version of undo is, that's what that is. Now, essentially what you can do as well is you can copy items. So clicking here, copy, it just duplicates this. So for example, here, I can just get a bunch of different ding boards and you can see they're everywhere. So that's what the copy button does. Then split using transparency. Then essentially here, what we can do is essentially, this is something where we want to use the eraser. So we're going to erase across here. So I'm going to use the eraser like this. And then I'm going to click a split using transparency. And then you can see it now splits into two separate images, one at the bottom and one at the top. So all you want to do is uh, if you want to split using transparency and you don't have uh, like an image where, you know, things aren't, you know, split up you make sure you want to erase it first so for example i can erase this like that then i can erase uh this area right here and then i can erase uh this area right here and then i click split using transparency we have uh, this object here which i can take out this object here and this object here so it's a way to split up your objects uh, and just do really creative things with them now essentially we have a rotate so if you want to rotate something that's how you do it then of course we do have mirror item. So this is literally flip the item like that. And then of course we have these other tools, which I'm going to show you. So you can see here, once we are signed in, we can see that we have these tools. Now with these tools, essentially what you do have is you have a segmentation tool, which is where you can split up your image into separate parts. So click the segmentation tool. You can essentially highlight different things. And when you click different things, it's basically just going to select different things in your image. And they're essentially going to be finished segmenting. And then now you can grab them all if you want. Now, this is really useful if you want to get stuff from an image. So I'm going to show you guys how to use that. So for example, if I paste this in this figure one, I've seen so many memes. And then I just, you know, send this to the back. Uh, there we go. So I've pasted this image in from Google, you can literally just paste an image in you don't need to do anything else. Um, one thing that you can do is you can use the depth wise background removal tool. So you click that it just does this crazy thing. And this is I think this is a paid feature. Then you just do that and you can see that it removes the background. So if you do that, you can see it removes the background and the background is completely gone. Now, of course, like I said before, this is the segmentation tool feature. So when you can, when you, you know, you look around, you can highlight different things. So we can click the robot. We can see we've got his torso. We've got his arm. We've got that bit. We've got there. We've got that. We've got that. We've got that. Um, and essentially we can click the entire bit of the robot if we really want to. And then we can click finish segmenting and then we can grab the robot and you can see then we have this right here. Now you can use this for whatever you want but it's completely up to you. Now, of course, with this tool, you can go ahead and you can, you know, uh, upload an image right here, but I'm gonna just show you guys how I would make a meme. So for example, um, if I just delete this and then I paste it in, um, I'm then gonna go ahead, I'm gonna send this to back. Then I'm gonna go ahead, delete this, cause I don't need that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put ding board. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just delete that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab an image of Sam Altman. Let's just grab this image right here. Uh, it's probably not the best meme to be honest with you guys because I haven't actually given it much thought so don't expect this meme to be pretty good and then I'm gonna I'm actually not gonna use the segmentation tool I'm gonna use the uh, depth background removal tool 
And then uh, when it's there, I, there should be a slidey button. I don't know where the slidey button went. So yeah, the slidey button's there. And then essentially instantly we get the background removed. So now we can get that done. And then I can get like an eraser. Um, and then I can, in fact, what you can do is you can select certain bits. So for example, I can select this. In fact, no, I'm just trying to get his jumper and then finish segment. Then I can drag this away and I can delete that. And then what I can do now is I can erase this part around his head. And there we go. So now I just have Sam Altman's head from an image. And then what I can do now is I can just simply just click off here. I can drag his head down onto the robot. And I'm not sure what kind of meme I'm creating here, guys. Honestly, I did not think this through. For those of you who may have think I've thought this through, this was something that I didn't think through at all. You can also change the width of your eraser using this slider along here. Now, like I said before, with any meme, you want to make sure you have the Dingboard logo right there. It's just part of the culture. You don't have to actually do it. Um, and then, of course, what you can do is you can use generate. Now, coming soon will be a feature in which you can generate different things, such as backgrounds I'm assuming, I'm assuming using Stable Diffusion 3 or whatever thing they hook it up to. But there's also another button right here, which is the text menu. So what you can do here is you can write in text. So I'm going to put here is GPT-5. Then I'm going to go ahead and put up the stroke width. And then I'm going to put a large font. Uh, in fact, let's just do medium. And then you can see here we can change the font as well. So we can just change this around and then I can click create text and then it's now here. So now you can see we've got the text here. We can literally just grab this and we can put this absolutely anywhere we want. Um, and that's how it is. Now, of course, like I said, if we don't like it, how the way it looks, delete it. Up the stroke width. Um, we can just change it. We can make it red. We can make this like yellow and then we can grab this and click create text. And then we can literally grab this, okay? And say, here is GPT-5, okay? And then now, that is how you make memes with this. Now, if you want to download your entire meme, all you need to do is click right here, the download button, click download scene, and then it will simply download. Now, in addition, you can make different things. You can drag around and make different things, but I wouldn't advise to do that because it does get a bit confusing. Also, you can click undo or redo. And then this is your thing here. You can manage your subscription. You can log out. Um, and that's basically the overview of this. It's pretty simple, but more features will be coming in the future. And if there's anything I did miss, don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below.